it's Chrissy with Designs for a Diva and in today's video I'm just coming to you to answer some subscriber questions. Before we get started if you're new to the channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now I received a few questions since the last video that I made answering questions and it's really been fun for me to just jump on camera and answer the questions versus responding back in the reply. Now I don't mind responding back in the comments or answering your emails but I figure that um, there's probably more than one person wanting the answer to those questions. So I thought it would be really fun and really help me with bringing more and more content to you to be able to answer the questions here on video so that if others um, are wondering the same types of things that, you know, everybody can get the answer. So this first question here is something that I get quite often. Um, and I actually have... Um, a two-part video and I'll put it um, here on the screen so you could go and also in the description box so you can go and review those that video where I go into detail but this uh, family member as says this we are in the process of buying a home from Clayton I love to know more about the loan process like credit rating I believe you said you went with Cascade loans I think that's who we will go with Oh, and I wonder if you know how long they will finance the home. We were, we are looking at the single wide. I'm not sure if they will go as long as one of those like a normal 30-year mortgage. Love your videos. So thank you so much for your question. Um, we got our home through Cascade. It's a 23-year loan. Um, not 30. It's a 23 year loan. I believe that's standard through Cascade. At least I know for a fact with a double wire. You can add an extra $100 or an extra $200 to your mortgage every month and cut that time in half on your own. It just cuts the interest. Okay, credit ratings. When we applied for um, our loan, the salesperson advised us on the different types of loan, whether it's conventional loan or an FHA loan. And I actually am thinking that I may do a video on the different types of loans so that you know, um, that, but that would take too much time in this one. So there are different types of loans and Clay Loan Homes also uses different loan companies or banks in which they submit the applications to. Now they actually own Vanderbilt, which they will always put your application into them, um, but they'll also put it into multiple, um, they'll submit it to multiple people in the hopes of getting you an approval rate. Um, your credit score can be anywhere from 550 to whatever the highest credit score is, seven, 800. Um, and depending on what your credit score is, that's the first thing, credit score, how much you make, and your job history. I said job history. Your approval is based on credit score, income, and down payment. What your down payment is, will be determined by the other two factors because your approval will determine what your interest rate is. So say for instance, you get approved for a hundred thousand and based on your credit rating and your income, you're approved for a 5% down payment. Okay. So that means that you'll put 5,000 down on a hundred thousand dollar loan. You could also be approved for a 10% interest rate, which would mean you put down $10,000 on a $100,000 loan. So credit score, income, and down payment. 
to be honest, um, because it was my husband and myself at that time, I had more reported income, but he had a better credit score. So they used those both um, to determine if we would be approved or not, and we were. So um, every everybody's different. Every situation is different. You and someone else may be submitting the application. It just may be yourself. They're going to still look at those factors. Your credit score, how much um, you make, right? And how long you've been on your job. So they did tell me that I want to make sure that I say it accurately. You have to submit documentation of everything that they require. So with Cascade and our loan, um, with Cascade and our loan, uh, I had to provide proof that I made a certain amount each month. And I believe that that was based off of my salary and the requirements for my credit score. Everybody's different. Every situation is different. Make sure that you ask all the questions that you need to ask so that you understand what they're looking for and what um, their process is. Once you get an approval, I can tell you that that is not the end all be all. They may check your credit. They may check your credit again. So you don't want to make any purchases, right? You don't want to, after you get approved for the house, go buy a car because that's going to drop your credit score or apply for a credit card because that's going to drop your credit score. The credit score. They could check your credit again um, and they will tell you um, if you're inquiring, they'll let you know you don't want to do anything to change your credit score or your income from the time that you get approved until you close unless you're bringing it up. So you get approved and then you pay off a credit card and it's a month before you close. So you have time for that credit score to adjust. That's a good thing. You never want to bring your credit score down during that process until you close. All right. Very good. I think I answered all your questions. Loan process, credit rating. Yes. I got, we went through Cascade Loans. And 23 year mortgage is what we have. Now, if it's anything outside of that, whether it's more or less, you will want to discuss that with your builder, who is Clayton Homes, and with the loan company, who's Cascade or whoever you decide to go with. Do your research, ask your questions, make sure it's what you want to commit to before you sign that closing the closing documentation. All right. So the next uh, viewer or the next subscriber wanted to know how much we pay a month on our home. Now that is also in the two part series that's linked here on the screen. Um, we're an open book. Our mortgage is eleven eleven fifty eight one thousand one hundred eleven dollars and fifty eight cents a month. Um, our actual mortgage is $995. And that covers um that covers our home and it covers our land because we did a land home package. So you may already have land and you purchase a home and your payment could be way lower. It can even be more. All of that depends on your credit score. My credit um, I'm in the process of repairing my credit and my husband really had no credit. So we're going to be paying more than maybe somebody with decent to good credit. You may be paying $600 a month for land and home. We're paying $1,111.56 and that does, that's $9.95 a month for the land and the home, which we feel wasn't bad because we were paying more than that for the home that we were renting before we purchased a home. But we also are paying escrow. So 11 11 58 or 56 one, one of them, um, is 
the cost of the monthly payment and escrow. Escrow covers your home insurance, it covers your taxes, etc. Now, once that is paid up, it'll continue to be eleven, eleven fifty-eight. But then that whole amount, that entire amount, will go toward the payment and not escrow. So, if you like a in detail um, breakdown of how that, what that looks like, I'd be happy to do a video. Just comment below. Um, if somebody wants to me to go into more detail about how your monthly payment works. So thank you so much for that question. Um, I appreciate it. And um, I only have one more question. This question came to me in email. And it says, we've been shopping around for a home for our family. And I'm so torn on which to choose. I was hoping that you may give me a little insight on which you think is best. And so the options that this uh, subscriber gave was Deer Valley, Live Oak, and Clayton. So I've never seen a Deer Valley home in person. I don't have any input on that. I recently visited um, a Live Oak home, um, home center and I was very impressed by the homes and I know a lot about Clayton homes. So I'm not gonna tell you which one to pick. That is not my call. Here's what I will tell you. That if you viewed all of the homes, I would go with my gut. I would look at the quality of the home. I would look at the design of the home. I would look at all the features like the energy, efficiency. I would look at the, I love the windows in this home. I love, um, I love um, a lot of things about this home and it's the reason that we got this one. There were standard things that I was looking for. I had to have an island. I had to have double sinks in the master bath. I had to have a separate tub and shower in the master bath. And I had to have hardwood floors in the house. Of course, they're not hardwood, real hardwood, but you know what I mean. So that's what I was looking for and I wanted a open, open concept. I wanted just what I got in this home to be able to sit in my living room and see into the kitchen and the dining room. I wanted it completely open. Um, and that's what I got in this home. So maybe you want, it has to have, um, our home has, you can see the lines um, in, the, in the wall behind me. All homes don't have that. Some have complete drywall throughout. Um, this has um, this has drywall. All homes have drywall, but there's a thickness, and um, some of them look like they're painted. Some of them have wallpaper. It's what you're looking for. I don't want to get to rambling, but it's really what you what you're looking for. So whichever company gives you the home that has the quality of home, has the design that you're looking for, cost is a factor. If it meets your budget, that's the one you go with, sweet baby. Go with your gut, okay? Um, once you get approved, go with your gut. If the, it's, it's really not the company, it's for me, it's the home that speaks to me. Which home do you walk in and say, this is the home I want to spend the rest of my life in, or this is the home that's going to be, maybe you're not planning on staying there for the rest of your life. A lot of our subscribers are looking for something that they can sell later down the line. That wasn't what we were looking for. This is our forever home. I'm going on 50. My husband's going on 60. We, we're just not in the market to purchase a home that we could sell later. We were looking for a home to be happy in. What is your why for this home? The homes speak to me. When I walk in them, they speak to me. Even though I have a home, when I go into a home, I know that I, I, when, I, when I go to tour a home, I know, man, I would be happy here. I love this home. This is what I love about this home. So you have to do what's best for you and your family. Nobody can say go with this company or go with that company. 
you have to make the decision that's right for you. And it starts with knowing your why. Why am I wanting to purchase a manufactured home? What am I looking for? Answer those questions for yourself. Get the home that's right for you. It doesn't matter the name of the home. Each and every one of these homes, whether they're Deer Valley, Live Oak, Clayton, or whoever, it's a plantation series or a runner series, they were all built the same. They were built inside a manufacturer. They passed hundreds of points of inspection, okay? They are energy efficient. They are built to withstand uh, all types of weather conditions. So they're all going to be built to pass the same type manufactured home inspection. Which one is the one that speaks to you? That's the advice that I can give. And I hope that it really helps you. So if, if you have any additional questions outside of what I've just um the answer that I've given you, if you want to talk about it, if you want to continue to talk about it, we can. If you have specific questions about the homes, please continue to email me. I won't always put my answers on video, but this is a question that I've gotten um, more than one time. Which per person should I go with? And so I wanted to answer it where multiple people could um could get the answer so i hope that helps um and i hope you guys enjoyed the video um i'm really enjoying answering your questions um here on video if you like it please continue to leave me questions so that i can continue to jump on and answer them in detail thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day bye bye